This video describes the new column-based visualization model in IBM Planning Analytics Workspace. This new model simplifies the creation of visualizations. Columns in the view are always treated as measures, while row members are categories. If your view contains a defined measures dimension, it's ignored for visualization purposes. The visualizations you can create vary depending on your view configuration. Most visualizations support a single column measure but a few visualizations do support multiple column measures. You can consult the IBM Knowledge Center for details on the visualizations that are available for specific view configurations. In any case, when you're choosing a visualization, Planning Analytics Workspace only shows you the visualizations that can be rendered for your current view. Let's walk through some concepts to show how column-based visualizations work. Remember, the columns in your view always determine the measure for your visualization. For a visualization that supports a single measure, only the first column in your view is used as the measure, even if there are multiple columns present. For a visualization that supports two measures, only the first two columns are used, and so on. In this view, a count one is set as the column dimension, and it displays three members, units, sales, and variable costs. However, for any visualization that supports a single measure, only units is used. Here's a bar chart of the view. Bar charts support a single measure, and you can see that units is identified as the measure by the label on the value axis of the chart. The other members from the column dimension in your view are not represented in this visualization. For a visualization that supports two measures, only the first two columns in your view are used as measures. The line and column chart is an example of a visualization that supports two measures. You can see that this visualization shows the measures units and sales corresponding to the first two columns in your view. Again, the measures are clearly labeled on the value axes and on the chart legend. If you have stacked column dimensions, the measure is the combination of members that identify the column being charted. Here, the model dimension is stacked above the account one dimension. There's a lot of data in this view, but if you're creating a visualization that supports a single measure, you're only interested in the first column, which is identified by the members Units and S-Series 1.8L sedan. When you create a visualization of this view, the measure shows up as Units S-Series 1.8L sedan on the value axis. You can also click any data point in the visualization to reveal the measure. This is the case for most visualizations. If the measure for a visualization is not clear to you, click a data point to show the measure. When creating visualizations, always remember that the columns in your view are the measures and configure your view accordingly. You can make things a bit easier on yourself if you configure your view to include only as many columns as the visualization that you want to create requires. In most cases, that means a single column because most visualizations support a single measure. Earlier, we mentioned that the row members are categories for visualizations. So the way to expand detail in a visualization is to stack dimensions on the row axis of a view and show a data series or cluster of values for each category. The view we've been working with shows the actual North America unit sales by quarter for a single model, S-Series 1.8L sedan. If you create a line visualization of this view, the result is a chart showing a single line with units as the measure. But what if you want to see details for multiple car models sold across the quarters of the year. To do this, you can drag the model dimension and stack it on the inside of the row axis. When you stack dimensions or hierarchies on the row axis, the outermost members are the categories for your visualization, while the innermost members are grouped together as a data series or cluster within the category. In this example, the result is a visualization that shows individual quarters as categories and the members of the current model dimension set as data points within each category. A legend is present to identify which car models correspond to the data points in the visualization. You can click on any data point in a visualization to see the category breakdown. Here, the data point represents one quarter S series 2.5L sedan. So, when using column based charting, 
always remember to place the measures that you want to see in your chart on the columns. Place your chart categories on the row and stack dimensions or hierarchies on the rows to reveal more detail.